it's an exciting time. It's a, it's a, it's an exhilarating, exciting, slightly nerve wracking kind of time, but I, I really did not expect to be emotional having completed my very first book. I'm very emotional. We're back with a kitchen vlog. With a lot of emotions, I didn't think that I would be emotional about this, but I've also never done it before, so I didn't know that I was going to be emotional with it, but it's like saying it out loud is like so real. It's going to be really real in 77 days. I have finished my very first book. I finished it last night. I didn't even realize I had edited all the way to the end. And tonight, around the time that I would start editing, I just really like sat with it for a moment. I was like, wow. There is nothing to edit. I just have to print the draft copy of the manuscript. Put it all in order. Make sure that everything is seamless. And then it's time to start formatting. And I don't really know why I'm so emotional. Um, I made the decision to publish two weeks ago today. And I cried for days with that decision because it's a dream come true. <laughs> I remember being 11 years old, sitting on my nanny's couch in the evening with my laptop and with Word open and starting to write a book at 11 years old. And my nanny said to me, she said, what are you writing? And I was like, I'm writing a book about my life. One day I'm gonna write a book about my life and I'm gonna publish it. And for so long I thought that the content of the book that I am publishing was going to be in a different book, which is why that other book has taken over five years and it's still not even, it's not even close to being done in five years because the, the concept of it has evolved so greatly in five to six years but this book is the book that I feel I was meant to write all along because before even finishing it I started getting the content downloaded for the second book and it's bittersweet because I know there's going to be more to come and there's going to be more stuff to work on but I also can't work on the second part the second book until this new part of my life starts and I'm in that like this this first book is closing out my past everything up until this point I'm taking all the love, all the wisdoms, all the lessons, the gratitude, of course. And I'm moving forward. But I haven't yet <laughs> opened the door to the next chapter. Maybe I've opened it. I quantum leaped recently and, um, I feel like I'm definitely like in that new chapter, I'm in that new reality and a big part of that new reality is becoming an author and it's insane. It is so like overwhelming to have a dream come true. <laughs> um, it's also scary because I have not, the things that are going to be in book two I need to experience. So. It's also exciting because I know that I've already received content to start the second book, which means the second book is happening, 
which means the events that need to happen for it to be created are also happening. And that's a realization I'm making live while recording this. So um, it's an exciting time. It's, a, it's, a, it's an exhilarating, exciting, slightly nerve wracking kind of time, but I, I really did not expect to be emotional having completed my very first book. I'm very emotional. It's such a beautiful experience being able to heal through writing. I didn't write, I didn't write Sweet Daisies with the intention of publishing it. It never had a name. Um, it, it got a name about half the way through just because if you read some of the verses, it will make sense. Um, I wrote all of those in the past year, uh, less than, <laughs> for about the last like nine months. And, oh, maybe longer. No, maybe like the last 11 months, almost a year. And um, I did it just to get my thoughts out. I did it because it was therapeutic. I did it because it was a passion project that I could intimately explore my thoughts, my feelings, my mind, my heart, my soul, and it was just for me. And it felt good. I find that when I'm intentionally creating certain things just for other people, I get really um, guarded. And this, there's no there's no ounce of being guarded in, in this book. Um, and I, you know, came to the conclusion when I saw how many entries there were of there's enough for a book. <laughs> and um, so I made it a book that everyone who possibly wants to read can read. So um, if you read it, I hope that some page, some passage in there helps you through your journey, through your awakening, through your healing. Um, through your twin flame journey. Um, that is largely what Sweet Daisies is based upon and I am forever grateful to be able to have my muse. So here's to calling it a wrap on Sweet Daisies <laughs> and becoming an author and fulfilling the biggest dream of my life. And it's just the beginning. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed um, following along. Anyways, this is your sign. If there is something that you've always dreamed of doing and you haven't done it yet, it's time to do it.